Hello everybody, this is Alan Biermeyer from Digital Drafting Systems and I wanted to put together a quick video here today to show you guys how to fix an issue that we're running into very commonly with our customers. So the issue that we're seeing is that customers specifically who are moving from network licenses to single user licenses as Autodesk is no longer offering those network licenses are seeing that their users are sometimes stuck referencing a network license that they're unable to use. So one solution for that is to actually open the product and to change manually your licensing type in the product but unfortunately you need to actually license it and open it to be able to do that and if you've already changed out that network license you're not going to be able to do it so what Autodesk has done is they have this licensing support tool that I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys here real quick how it works so you're just going to go into a web browser and to a search engine Google in this case and you're going to look up Autodesk licensing support tool we're going to go ahead and open this link. And so we're going to scroll down a bit. We're going to look for Windows here in this case. If you have another uh, another operating system, you can choose that here. This video specifically is going to focus on Windows. So we're going to go ahead and download this. You see I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to actually save it. But let's go ahead and take a look. So once it downloads, you're going to have this zip folder. You're going to right click, extract all, and say continue or next. And once this finishes extracting, you're going to have a folder. You're going to go into that folder and you're going to have two options here. You're going to have ADSK licensing support tool and ADSK licensing support tool UI. UI uh, is short for user interface. That's the one we want to use. It's going to have a, a user interface that we can actually work from. The other one will work, but you have to you basically work it from the command line. So you're going to see a variety of different files here. You're looking for this one, ADSK licensing support tool UI.exe. You're going to double click on that. It's going to ask you for your uh, Windows admin information, or it's going to ask if you'd like to allow changes. Click yes or no. Uh, you'll go ahead and click yes, obviously, or if it's asking you for the credentials, you'll put in the credentials. And then after that, you'll have this window pop up for us. So basically, what you see here is your list of Autodesk products that are installed on your computer. You can select these, and basically, you can force it to look for another licensing type over here. So you can see here I have two network uh, licensing models selected for my two versions of AutoCAD. If we wanted to change that over we click on it and for the sign-in licenses, the subscriptions, we would go ahead and click user right here and we would say apply changes. You'll get a confirmation message here and you'll click OK and then you'll see over here that it now says user. Now um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the same thing here for the other one. We're gonna say user again just for your information, just so you guys are all aware, the other uh, licensing methods here are network, which is what we just came from. Standalone is going to be for older software that uses uh, serial number activation. Uh, that's a perpetual license or what was called a maintenance license before, but not a subscription license. User is going to be that subscription sign-in license. And reset will just reset you from scratch to where the next time you open the program, it should prompt the user and ask them to choose one of those licensing types. Okay, so while we're in here, I do just want to show you as well, if we go to a couple of different options here, we have some, some important information. So you can use this for some logging practices. I've seen Autodesk ask for this information. Connections is an interesting one. If you're having some connection issues or licensing issues, you can click check URLs right here and it will actually check a list of known URLs that need to be accessed by the software in order to see if all of those are connecting to Autodesk as needed. This api.autodesk.com one we typically see showing false, so I'm not going to worry about that one too much. But you can see everything else here under the accessible uh, column should show true. And if it doesn't, you'll see what may be blocked and what you may need to fix in order for that connection to work. Reset login is an important one typically for a little bit older Autodesk software. Um, typically 2020 and earlier, if I'm not mistaken, is really what uses that uh, that login state file and so this will basically just delete that login state file for those of you that have been doing this a while you may be familiar with uh, that login state file that saved your your login information and then last is your component info here this will show you the various um, supporting tools that are installed on your Autodesk or on your uh, computer that support your Autodesk products such as again this licensing support tool uh, install helper licensing agent licensing installer and licensing service so once you've made those initial changes right here on this list, all you need to do is just open your product. 
So let's look up AutoCAD 2025 in this case. And it should just go ahead and open for us automatically without issue. Um, if you were not already previously signed in with your Autodesk login, you'll be prompted for that. But if you see a username up here on the top, you're going to be totally fine with that. So you'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. Uh, again, just a short little tutorial, but in, you know one that, that we've run into quite a bit. So I figured I'd just make a quick little video. Okay, thank you all so much. Bye-bye.